Hi, my name is Ben Sinclair. I'm an MPH candidate at Eastern Washington University, and I'm creating a series of short how-to videos for EpiInfo 7. Today we're going to be programming some fields. Um, so let's start EpiInfo, and we'll go to Create Forms. We're going to open up a project that we've been working on. Click to open project. And the project is this Epi Learning. And we'll click the PRJ file. And this is the form we've been creating in these videos. Um, so I have two things that we're, we're going to do here. Is, and one is that uh, depending on the answer entered for gender, we may not need to ask if someone's pregnant. Um, and so we're going to set that up so that um, these two um, fields here actually disappear. They'll hide when if, if an an the answer to gender is male. Um, that not only saves the interviewer time, but it avoids the possibility that they could enter male and pregnant and give us some confusing data to deal with um, down the road. The second thing we want to do is we use today's date, the, the entry for today's date, and the date of birth of our subject to just automatically fill in this age uh, field here so that our interviewer doesn't have to try to figure that out. So we're going to do that, those two things, with this check code function here. Let's go ahead and click that. Um, you'll see here we've got this sort of open area here where you can enter code by hand or you can use these two sections on the right hand side um, to enter some common codes. Um, so the, the top box is where we, we choose the field that we're going to enter code about basically. So in this case we'll choose gender and if we try expand that box, you see there's a couple choices before and after. Um, this signifies when the action uh, should happen. And in this case, we want it to happen after the form has been filled in. Uh, so I just double click that, and you'll see here on the left, it's sort of filled in some, some code for us. Um, and then we'll be using an if-then statement. To, uh, for this code the, to hide those functions. So we're going to choose if um, the, the variable we're dealing with is gender, of course. Um, so we'll choose it here. And it fills it in. So our if condition is if gender is equal to male, and you want to make sure to put that in quotation marks because it's a text field, then click this button to choose from the, the action. We're going to hide the pregnant field, and we'll also hide uh, the pregnancy weeks field. So both of those things. Click OK. See here it's filled in the code for us. Click Save. And we can close this window. And we're back to our editing uh, form. Now, we can't really test that on this screen, but we can, if we click Enter Data, we'll close the editor, and it opens up the data entry form. Okay, and here we can go ahead and test just as if we were entering data in the field. So for gender, I'm going to enter male. And I'll hit tab just to advance the next field. And you can see that the pregnancy and pregnancy weeks fields have, have hidden. So 
we know that's working, let's go ahead and get back to our editor. We're going to click Edit Form. I don't need to save this record we were just since we're just testing. Okay, now we're back to our editor. So now let's do the date and date age uh, code. So we'll we'll go to here to check code again. Now, in this case, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to say since date comes first in the form, the, the whoever's filling in the form will, will enter that, and then later in the form they come across date of birth. And so I'm going to say after date of birth is entered, um, then we want to, uh, after the date of birth is entered, we want it to fill in the age. So we're going to do that by we're going choosing assign. We're going to assign age, we're going to assign, uh, our expression will be assigned to the age field. And then for our expression, we're, we can click this button that says functions. And it opens up a list of a lot of different things here. But what we're doing is a date function b and based on the years. So if you select that. Now you'll see it's got a function, years, and then parentheses for our fields to be entered. And it's, it, it's telling us r right in here what it wants. So it wants the start date, which if I highlight that, and I can choose the start date from this list of available variables. That'll be our date of birth. And the end date, same thing, I'm going to choose from this available variables. That's our date one. That's the today's date. So let me just click OK. You can see here it's entered our code here on the left. We still need to save this. And we can close this window. We're back at our editor. Now we'll do the same thing. We're going to click Enter Data, go over to the other form so that we can test this out. <coughs> and when I click date, see it gives me a little calendar pops up. Since I'm doing this is the current date, we can just click today down here at the bottom and it fills in today's date. When we come to date of birth, it gives us the same thing. Could scroll way back, but it's easier to just enter. So let's say 11, 12, 1990 is our date of birth. Then when we click tab to advance to the next field, you can see it's filled in the age for us. And we can just move on through the form without having to try to calculate that on the spot. So that's it. Thank you very much, and I hope that has helped at least show the beginnings of how to enter code and where to enter it at. Thanks.